this is something that I was talking about for a long time. The title is No Classic Rat or TBC Servers. Blizzard's big mistake. I was talking about that in the past, how Blizzard's mistake is that they just don't re- leave just, for example, two realms of TBC, two realms of rats, two realms of uh, Cataclysm, Mists, and all of the expansions and just move things forward. Instead, they're just, for example, they did TBC and now we don't have TBC server. They did RAT and now we don't have RAT servers. And this is kind of a big L because there are people who want to be stuck in RAT. They want to play the game infinitely. Like they want to do ICCs infinitely. They want to play arenas in the meta of RAT of the Lich King. They want to play arenas in the TBC uh, battlegrounds and all that kind of stuff and I'm really curious to see what WoW Crandor is gonna say. Classic Wrath of the Lich King servers are going away well actually they've already gone away but uh, Cataclysm Classics here right you can only play Cataclysm Classic now if you had your Wrath Classic characters they've been transferred over to okay. Wrath or to yes. Classic I wish they were still Wrath Classic and I just realized how annoying that is for someone like me who I uh, genuinely enjoyed logging into Wrath Classic for recording stuff like Pointless Top 10. Uh, it was very nice to have that luxury. Now, we still have, you know, Classic Classic, but uh, it's just... I guess I can just go into retail and go to those zones, but uh, I don't know. It, it was nice having that option available to me, and it, it got me thinking, right? Why can't we just have one server for each expansion? I feel like one server Thank you. would be fine, right? Where... You have a classic, classic. Uh, then you have the Burning Crusade, right? Then you have Wrath of the Lich King. And then you have whatever the current thing is, right? So Cataclysm. Then once that ends, you could have a Cata server. And then you move on to the next one. And I think that would be yeah. great because you would still allow people to go back and play that expansion the way that it was. And obviously, it's not going to be as popular as what it was back when there was... You know, the only thing you could play was Burning Crusade Classic. The only thing you could play was Wrath Classic, right? But I think having that limited availability of just one server even, and if it's like... In- I think that will benefit long term, is what I'm trying to say here. Like, the most popular thing right now, for example, is Cataclysm. And yeah, it's going to get a little bit of hype and all of that stuff, but... It's going to fade away with time and people will stop playing it naturally and stuff like that. But whenever you have a server for each expansion, you're just having these constants there. You're always having these people that are willing to play TBC but not willing to play Kata. That want to play Kata but don't want to play the old stuff and all that kind of stuff. Insanely popular, then you can open up two servers like, okay, crazy. I feel like that wouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> like, I can't imagine that using that many resources or being that insane to manage, especially when you're not really changing that much, I guess. Like, I think it would yeah. be cool, because I was thinking about it from this perspective, where let's say a guild decides to go through the entire classic experience, right? And be like, you know what? We're going to play Classic WoW, okay? So they play Classic WoW on the classic servers. They progress up to 60, and they're like, all right, guys, that was fun. Let's go to Burning Crusade, right? So they transfer from yeah. Classic to Burning Crusade, their characters, okay? And then they play through all that in the actual Burning Crusade server experience. And then they're like, wow, that was fun. Now we move to Wrath, right? And you just keep doing that depending on how many how many classic versions we've got at this point. Um, and you have the option to be like, ah, I don't want to go play the new one. Or like, I could just stay here and, you know, maybe play this version of the game. And it's just, it's nice to have that availability and the the luxury of picking and choosing which you want to play. Because, for example, exactly, there's some people, they probably missed out on Burning Crusade Classic, right? And they're like, oh man, I wish I could do Burning Crusade Classic again. And it's like, yes. well, you can't. It's gone just like how it was, you know. Since- it's funny because Wrath of the Lich King started, and I started wondering where is the Burning Crusade. And after that, I realized that they have removed the servers. I would enjoy to join Burning Crusade. I was never actually part of the Burning Crusade. I was too little. I I, I played WoW back then, but I didn't understand shit. I kind, kind of wanted to 
go back, but the servers were already gone. I kind of missed it. So yeah, seventeen years ago, it's gone again. You missed the you missed the second chance. Maybe it's gonna be a third train. Now you gotta wait for the third chance, right? <laughs> so it's like, why not just have that one server available? To, for people to play on that like I, I don't understand that from even just a business perspective because to me it makes sense that people would want to go through each expansion's experience that's why people wanted to play classic wow and some people missed out on playing some of the classic wow versions like i didn't play that much burning crusade but you know maybe i would want to maybe i'd randomly be like hey you know what i want to level through burning crusade again like who knows and then you'd play with other burning crusade people and then if you got born you just move on. Yeah. And you would still have the latest classic version available, right? You could go play Cata Classic or whatever they're at, you know, Mop Classic. I don't know. I guess they would do that next, right? So I just I just don't understand why they don't do that. Like, I can understand from a logistics or a data-centered point of view where they're like, ah, it's too much to manage the servers, the, you know, but, but they already have so many servers, right? Like... I don't know. It, yeah. Like it can't be that hard. They had numerous servers of Wrath Classic and Burning Crusade Classic, and yeah, and they also have servers that are almost having no population as well. Like, cut all of them and just bundle them and all these oh. servers. And then there's plenty of servers that like barely have any people on it. So you could like Thank merge you. two low pop servers, take one of those servers, and put Wrath Classic or Burning Crusade Classic guy right. I feel like that could, I feel like it would work. <laughs> I don't know. Are they, uh, are they under the assumption that it's just not like nobody's going to play it? Like maybe that's what it's come down to. They're like, ah, nobody's going to play it. But I feel like there would still be at least enough people on each expansion to warrant having a server for that expansion. Right. And yeah. I think, I actually think it would be kind of cool. Just like how Zygor is really cool. And you could use code Crendor for 20% off their Ooh. in-game WoW classic retail and wrath guy well i guess cataclysm guides now you gotta uh, check that was link in the description word. use code crendor for 20 percent off but really i think it would be cool because you would actually have server communities like the whole point of classic wow to me um was it's an old school mmorpg right it gives you that old mmorpg feeling of community of you know earning what you got the slower pace and you would have different communities from that, right? You'd have the Burning Crusade community. You would have the just the classic, classic community. You would have the Wrath community, right? You have the Cataclysm. Like, you would have all these different communities, and if you only had one server, that would be really cool. It's just like, oh, that's the Wrath server. You go play there if you want to play Wrath, and there's, like, communities there. You can, like, join up. You can talk to people. Like, it would actually yeah. form more communities. At least, I think it would. <laughs> it would. It makes sense to me. So, I just, I just really don't understand their thought process, unless they're thought process is like we're not going to make enough money from it but even then i feel like it just it like it makes sense to me i feel like you're losing money by not doing that yes <laughs> you know like there's plenty of people who want to play classic and they're like oh i'd go play it but now it's a cataclysm and i don't care about cataclysm so i'm not going to play it right but maybe somebody wanted to level in wrath and they could just go play wrath then that's somebody that would have played that is now not playing <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know so uh, I just, I needed to rant about that primarily because I went to record on Wrath Classic and I realized it wasn't available. So I was like, I need to rant about this on the internet. Uh, <laughs> let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. How are you feeling about it? Uh, am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Like, be like, Crendor, you're dumb. This is why they're not doing it. Like, uh, that's great. I don't know. Uh, listen, I'm just some guy that talks on the internet. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got. So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the latest pointless top 10 worst jobs in World of Warcraft. Or here's me blah, 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 here's me playing some GeoGuessr. You can check that out too. Bro, watch out. Arthur's is a ride. Because <laughs> I love how Blizzard has 100% dead, uh, 100 dead servers on live, but pretend it's too much of a hassle to run one or two for each classic expansion. Insane. Okay, what else? Time for Wrath of the Lich King private servers to rise up once again. That's exactly what will happen. Good video. Exactly my point, by the way. Exa I have been ranting about that for weeks since I understood, not week, months since I understood that Kata will drop. So.